Bonjour, today the tour is entering the volcanic plateau of the Massif Central, the region of Auvergne. The place is very well known for making some of the best bread in France, and many of the small bakers in the villages are still using wood-fired ovens. But before entering the Massif Central, today the tour is going to go through the region of Roquefort. You know Roquefort is one of the oldest cheese in France. It has been made over there for over 1,000 years. And I'm going to use some of the Roquefort to make a beautiful salad with walnut and greens and serve with potato galette. Now, first, break some walnuts, remove the flesh. I think it's always nicer if you can use some fresh walnuts. Chop some garlic and make a dressing. In a bowl, put a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, some vinegar, some oil, and then mix some curly endive. I think this is the best salad for this dish, as well as some broken pieces of Roquefort or blue cheese of, of your choice, as well as some walnut halves. Mix this together, and now it is time to make the potato galette. To make the galette, I use some regular size potatoes that I grate on a mandoline. This is the name of my little appliance. And mandoline cuts the potato very, very thinly like that. But if you didn't have one of them, you could grate them or cut them thinly with a knife. Dry the potato very well using a tea towel and then season the potato with a little bit of salt and pepper, some garlic and some chopped parsley. Now the potatoes traditionally are cooked in a little bit of dark fat and I'm using some very small frying pans here that are specially made for galette, but you can use a larger pan if you want. So a tablespoon of dark fat, put plenty of potato in the pan and push the potato inside the pan to make sure that it is very flat and that it is not too loose. Cook it for a minute or two and very carefully turn the galette over and cook on the second side for about the same time. Serve the galette with the, the mixed salad and it's absolutely delicious. It's, I think it's one of the glorious vegetarian dish of that region. Christian, uh, it is not always easy to match uh, wine with a dish like a potato galette and blue cheese. How do you go about it? Well, Gabriel, I think what you have to keep in mind is that matching food and wine is not a science, and they're just guidelines. The French take it very importantly because they know that one emphasizes the characteristics of the other. And I'm very often asked how to go about it, matching food and wine. Well, I use four criteria. First one being that there is no hard rule, and there's only guideline to follow. But if you want to maximize your enjoyment, you really need to look at the intensity of flavor in the dish and a similar intensity of flavor in the wine. Also look at the texture of the food, uh, the similar texture in the wine, and importantly, the level of sweetness in the wine. The wine always should be sweeter than the dish. Otherwise, you just end up overemphasizing the acid component in the wine. Now, when it comes to the patato galette and uh, salad of Roquefort, it'd be interesting to see a semi-sweet Jurançon, for example, with good high acid content. That will go very well with the, uh, the intensity of flavor in the cheese and the high acid will keep in tune with the, the, the light texture of the salad. Thank you, Christian. Tomorrow, the tour will be going to Le puy en velay a place famous for lentils. So guess what? Yes, I am going to cook a dish of lentils. Until then, au revoir.